so Forza Motorsport Update 9 has just been released and with it brings some great news for the game. The footage I have in the background of this video is one of the new endurance races. Currently these stand at 16 minute races in the Forza Touring Car and the Forza GT Spec Series that can be found in the featured playlist in multiplayer. However, as of next week, these will be on a rotation between short, which is 8 minutes long, medium being 16 minutes long and long, which are a massive half an hour long. Now personally, I think this is what Forza has been missing up until this point. The fact that you now have to think about tyre wear and pit stops is a great change because before it was a case of just using medium tyres in almost every race and it being a bit of a sprint to the finish. They said that the fuel and the tyre wear are going to be closely monitored in these next couple of weeks going forward. So like I say, this is great news and I'll definitely be jumping on for some of the longer races. They haven't actually mentioned any changes to the penalty system though, which is quite concerning and I'll show you exactly why at the end of this video before i jump into a breakdown of all the features of this update and a breakdown of this race be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all forza motorsport updates in the future so the first thing that i want to mention are the new cars and i won't go into every single car because there are quite a few of them and you can find that out for yourself but the main one that you have to be quick to get is the porsche 963 this is currently free on the microsoft store and on steam but only for the next nine days after that it'll cost you about four quid and all the other the cars are either endurance focused like the Nissan R88C and the Chevron B16 or cars that are already in the game. The cars that are already in the game however can now be bought for 30% less credits from the showroom so just jump on have a look at the showroom and you'll find all the cars there. They do rotate every couple of weeks though I think maybe every one week so if the car that you're looking for is not there this week check again next week or just buy it for the 30% more credits it, it doesn't really make a difference. So the next interesting update is they're actually bringing out another track. Now I haven't heard about this track before but it's the Sebring International Raceway and they say it's one of the oldest operating racetracks in the United States and it's meant to test players with rough bumpy and changing surfaces so that's a nice little surprise I didn't know we were getting another track but along with this new track they've also changed some bits about the Laguna Seca and the Nordschleife 2 so the change that was done on the Laguna Seca is the ambulant oculation not showing up and for the Nürburgring they've removed some of the flags across the track and added speaker poles throughout not really massive changes there maybe the uh, ambulant oculation on the uh, Laguna Seca did annoy you a little bit i'm not too sure i think i have this turned off anyway so it hasn't affected me so yeah along with those two changes to those two tracks they've reset the leaderboards but just for them two tracks so along with those changes they've also changed the practice length across all of multiplayer what this means is more frequent racing and less practicing because nobody liked to practice for half an hour it also meant that if you wanted to race on a specific track you'd have to wait a lot longer too so hopefully that does improve it a little bit so along with that they haven't really adjusted anything else but i think these improvements are going to make a big difference and they are going to allow people to enjoy the game just a little bit more myself included i've done three or four races today and apart from the race that i'm going to show you after this one i had some fun so yeah i'll definitely be playing a lot more forza motorsport so onto the race that i've got in the background here i'm currently on silverstone which is the british f1 track and i'm using the 2019 brabham bt62 which is actually the vip car of this week and i've got to say this car is absolutely phenomenal especially in the dry it's so grippy i'm struggling a little bit here in the wet i'm not gonna lie i did adjust my tune just a little bit before this race i took out a lot of rear camber and to be honest i made it very bad Bad. didn't handle very well at all you see i've crashed a couple of times later on in the race but that was my own fault that's not the car's fault that's just me being a spanner and uh not really knowing how to adjust the car properly just yet so yeah this race was tough it was uh one of the first ones i've raced where you had to incorporate the pit stops and the tire luckily these wet tires do go on for a long time they're about the same as the medium so don't really have to worry too much about the tyres. Everyone's going to be on the same tyres. They're going to be doing the same amount of pit stops. So there's no variation in like the hard and softs, that sort of thing. But I won't show you the whole race because a lot of it was just me in second place. Not really doing much, just trying to not spin out and keep my position. So one of my first cock-ups of this race was overcooking this corner just a little bit too much. And it sent me into the next corner at a very bad angle. 
end up going off track and I do get a 0.5 second penalty which is actually one thing that I didn't mention before that they have changed in this update the safety rating is now not your last 10 races but your last 20 races that means if you have one bad race in 20 it doesn't affect it as much as one bad race in 10 they've also narrowed down the matchmaking to put you with people with similar safety ratings before if you had an S safety rating you could still be paired up with people in E safety class. Whereas now I think you aren't in people with D and E. So it just tightens that matchmaking a little bit more. It might mean it take you an extra 10 seconds to get into a game, but you'll be put with people with similar safety ratings to you. I don't think it affects you too much if you're around the middle of the safety rating. So if your safety rating say C, you're still gonna be put with everyone. So I think they do need to tighten it just a little bit more but if you're in S safety rating, then you won't be put in with people in E class, which I'm sure for you guys that are really good at racing, that is uh, yeah, great help to you guys. So my next cock up was just here. I was trying to go into the pits. Now, obviously that isn't the pits. I don't know what I was thinking. That was just not knowing the track very well. My tires are getting a little bit low. My fuel's getting a little bit low. And uh, yeah, went straight into here, which isn't the pits. I'm not sure what configuration of the track that is. Maybe it's um, like the shorter version. I know they do have two. I know they have two versions of Silverstone. So maybe that was like the IndyCar circuit or whatever. Not too sure, but ended off going off track. And uh, yeah, it's my own stupid fault. And then when it came to the actual pit entry, I just missed it. I don't know what I was looking at. Not where I needed to be going, obviously. And uh, yeah, I missed my pit stop. That did actually put me first for a little bit but my tyres were starting to wear down. We're over half of the race now, so I've put myself in a very bad position. I'm, I am up to first, I have got some clear track, but uh, no one was really in my way before anyway, so I didn't benefit at all. I definitely lost about three or four seconds by that cock up. So I made it round another lap, and now I'm desperate for fuel and tyres. So I do jump into the pit, and uh, this is where I cocked up again. So it says recommended five laps, but I don't need five laps. I only need sort of three laps. So I put 10% fuel in and I end up running out as I crossed the finish line, I actually ran out. So uh, I'll show you that, but uh, it, it didn't cost me a position or anything because I had enough space in front of me and behind me. But uh, yeah, it was definitely a cock up that obviously wouldn't have happened if we weren't on these endurance races, if we weren't in these longer races. So um, yeah, this is what makes it fun. You know, there's that possibility to cock up a little bit more and make these mistakes. Like I've made two just in this race by missing the pit stop. Well, actually three missing the pit stop, going into the wrong pit lane and also not putting enough fuel in the car. So yeah, that's three mistakes that I've made. It just makes it more more fun than just racing around the track you know so after all of that commotion with the pit stops i'm about 11 seconds behind this fella in front and about eight seconds in front of third place and then i go and cock it up and i, I ruin this corner i don't know what i was doing going way too fast and then yeah on the exit i just put the power down a little bit too much and put myself facing the wrong way luckily i didn't lose the position just yet but uh third place is now right on my tail end up doing another stupid mistake i come out of this corner and i'm just too sideways like i say i've messed up the tune on this car so uh, it's not the car's fault not at all it's just the fact that i don't really race in the wet i kind of uh skip past them and uh yeah i've ruined my tune and the contact there that wasn't his fault at all it was completely my fault he didn't actually hit me from behind it did look like he did hit me from behind he didn't initially only when I span round and then yeah put me facing the wrong way yet again and I lose three positions and that's pretty much where I stay until the end of the race so you see here right at the end of the race these two cars in front of me they just fly off it's because I've got no fuel I've ran out of fuel what an idiot but anyway on to the next race this next race is really short it's only sort of a minute long and I'll show you what I mean by they need to adjust the penalty system in this game so on to the second race now and i was feeling good my lap times in practice were really good i've changed to the soft tire because it is nice and dry so my thinking was it's going to be a one-stop race anyway so i can either go two mediums or hard and soft so i thought i'll go soft see if i can gain a lead right at the start which i did and then this happens this absolute tool just knocks me off the track it's ruined my thinking it was ruined my plan so my plan was get first make up some time and then go into the pit stop change to the harder tires and then i'll have some nice clean air i'll have a nice clean track and if i could stay first whilst everyone else pitted on the harder tires i would see it through to the end and yeah i'd, I'd probably have a good chance of winning and because i'm fighting with these people my tires just disappear so i go into the pit lane early i go in one lap earlier than i was planning puts me out dead last on the hard tires 
and I catch up with this guy again. What's his name? Pissed, pissed yet. Is that his name? Pissed yet. What a name. I'm all over him, even though I'm on the harder tyres. End up taking it off road just a little bit just to get past him cleaner and I'll pick up a little penalty myself. But yeah, he tries taking me off the road again and I luckily escape it. But this corner here, you can see from the map, he comes flying straight across the corner just to get me and yeah, puts me on the wall yet again. End up overtaking him and you can see by the map again, he's come straight across and he wants to take me out again. But this time, luckily, luckily, he's got disqualified. Why it took so long to get disqualified, I don't know. Before this disqualification, he was on a three second penalty, which is not good enough. These penalties need to be stricter. I know I'm sat here on a 1.6 second penalty myself. One of those wasn't my fault. So yeah, they need to adjust the safety rating just a little bit more and they also need to adjust the penalties. But I think Forza is in a really good spot right now. As long as you don't get paired up with these wankers, then it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video and please do subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.